Hurricane Agatha's leftovers in the Pacific might become the Atlantic's first named storm. Hurricane Agatha was forecast to dissipate over Mexico's mountains, but its leftovers could resurface in the Gulf of Mexico, where they have a slim possibility of becoming the Atlantic Basin's first named storm in 2022. It was too early to say if the United States would be affected if that happened. For us in South Florida, it's still impossible to say if any of the leftovers in Agatha will have any influence, said Robert Garcia, a senior meteorologist with the National Weather Service. Agatha is likely to fade by Wednesday morning after passing over the mountains of southern Mexico, according to Dennis Feltgen, a meteorologist and spokesman for the National Hurricane Center in Miami. Agatha would have to cross some extremely rugged terrain in Mexico, Garcia added, so it might not make it all the way to the Gulf. Then, by the middle of next week, a large area of low pressure in the southwest Gulf of Mexico, which could include Agatha's remnants, is predicted to emerge in the southwest Gulf of Mexico, where it could gradually grow and drift eastward into South Florida, forecasters said. Over the following five days, the large area of low pressure has a 30% chance of developing. The maximum sustained winds of Storm Agatha climbed to 110 mph on Sunday afternoon, up from 75 mph earlier in the day, making it a strong Category 2 hurricane. Agatha was about 185 miles southwest of Mexico's southeast coast as of 5 p.m. Sunday, moving northeast at 1 mile per hour and delivering hurricane warnings and watches to the Mexican coast. According to hurricane specialists, the water between Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba's western point, which stretches north into the Gulf of Mexico and eventually to the Florida Straits, is unusually warm for this time of year. The evolution of tropical systems is fueled by warm water. Agatha, a Pacific hurricane, would keep her name if it crossed Mexico completely intact and continued on to the Gulf, according to Feltgen. However, if a new named storm forms in the Gulf of Mexico as a result of the Agatha remnants, it will be given a new name from the Atlantic Hurricane Basin list. Alex is the name that comes to mind. The Atlantic Hurricane Basin includes the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean Sea, and the Atlantic Ocean.